what does the term cbc stand for in a blood test your options are complete body count complete blood chemistry comprehensive blood count or complex blood cells the correct answer is c that is comprehensive blood count CBC stands for comprehensive blood count which includes various parameters to assess the cellular components of blood question number 2 which component is not measured in CBC the options are platelet count red blood cell count serum creatinine or white blood cell count the correct answer is c that is serum creatinine serum creatinine is a measure of kidney function and it is not part of the cbc dear friends sorry for the inconvenience while listening me as today i have bit throat infection due to which i am unable to pronounce few words correctly and i hope that this video will support you for your exam preparations let's continue What is the normal range for hemoglobin in adult males? Your options are 12 to 16 g per deciliter, 14 to 18 g per deciliter, 4 to 6 million or 450 thousand. The correct answer is 14 to 18 g per deciliter. The normal range for hemoglobin in adult male is typically 14 to 18 grams per deciliter question number 4 which blood cell type is responsible for oxygen transport in the body your options are red blood cells white blood cells platelets or neutrophils the correct answer is a that is red blood cells red blood cells contain hemoglobin which binds to oxygen and transport it throughout the body question number 5 dear friends you are attending the mcq quiz of the most repeated and the most important questions based on cbc that is complete blood count or comprehensive blood count of human blood friends it's a challenge for you let's say your score your level of knowledge that you have about human blood there are 25 questions and let me see what will be your score out of 25 and friends there are very important videos that i'm going to mention now friends to make it easy for you for your upcoming exams we have done the four important videos on human blood those are wbc rbc plasma and platelets i'm sure that these quizzes will make you completely fit and ready to face any question based on human blood and the link of this four videos have been shared in the descriptions or you can click on this i button which will get you the playlist and friends if you are enjoying the quiz then please do like subscribe and share this video to everyone who are preparing for upcoming medical or nursing exams let's continue what is the primary function of platelets in the blood your options are oxygen transport clotting immune response or ph regulation the correct answer is b that is clotting platelets play a crucial role in blood clotting preventing excessive bleeding question number 6 which term refers to the percentage of total blood volume occupied by red blood cells your options are hemoglobin concentration hematocrit main corpuscular volume mcv or red cell distribution width rdw the correct answer is b that is hematocrit hematocrit is the ratio of the volume of red blood cells to the total volume of blood question number 7 what does mcv measure mean corpuscular volume measure the options are platelet size red blood cell size white blood cell size or hemoglobin concentration the correct answer is b that is red blood cell size the mcv measures the average volume of red blood cells question number 
which condition is characterized by an abnormal increase in white blood cell count your options are anemia leukopenia leukocytosis or thrombocytopenia the correct answer is c that is leukocytosis leukocytosis refers to an elevated white blood cell count often indicative of an infection or inflammatory response question number 9 what is the normal range for platelet count in adults your options are 50000 to 150000 150000 to 450000 four to 6 million or 12 to 16 the correct answer is 150000 to 450000 per cubic millimeter the normal range for a platelet count in adults is typically 150000 to 450000 platelets per cubic millimeter of blood question number 10 which term refers to the total number of white blood cells in a specific volume of blood your options are hemoglobin concentration leukocyte count hematocrit or erythrocyte count the correct answer is b that is leukocyte count leukocyte count measures the total number of white blood cells in a given volume of blood Question number eleven. What is the primary function of neutrophils in the immune system? Your options are phagocytosis of pathogens, production of antibodies, allergic response, or blood clotting. The correct answer is A. That is phagocytosis of pathogens. Neutrophils are a type of white blood cell responsible for engulfing and destroying pathogens through the phagocytosis question number 12 which blood cell type is involved in a allergic reactions and parasitic infection your options are neutrophils lymphocytes monocytes or eosinophils the correct answer is d that is eosinophils eosinophils are specialized white blood cells involved in allergic reactions and defense against parasitic infections question number 12 what is the function of basophils in the blood your options are phagocytosis antigen presentation release of histamine and heparin or antibody production the correct answer is c that is release of histamine and heparin The basophils release histamine and heparin, playing a role in inflammatory and allergic responses. Question number fourteen: Which term refers to the variation in size of red blood cells? Your options are hemoglobin concentration, hematocrit, mean corpuscular volume (MCV), or red cell distribution width (RDW). The correct answer is D that is red cell distribution width RDW RDW measures the variation in size of red blood cells providing information about their uniformity Question number 15 What is the normal range for white blood cell count in adults Your options are 4000 to 11000 1 lakh 50000 to 4 lakh 50000 12 to 16 or 50000 to 1 lakh 50000 the correct answer is 4000 to 11000 cubic millimeter the normal range for white blood cell count in adults is typically 4000 to 11000 white blood cells per cubic millimeter of blood question number 16 which term refers to the percentage of red blood cells in a given volume of blood your options are hemoglobin concentration hematocrit mean corpuscular volume mcv or red cell distribution width rdw the correct answer is b that is hematocrit hematocrit represents the percentage of red blood cells in the 
टोटल ब्लड वॉल्यूम क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवनटीन विच कंडीशन इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय अ डिक्रीज इन रेड ब्लड सेल काउंट और हेमोग्लोबिन लेवल्स ये ऑप्शन सा पॉलिसिदमिया लुकेमिया एनेमिया और थ्रोमोसाइटोसिस द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी दैट इज एनेमिया एनेमिया इज अ कंडीशन मार्क्ड बाय अ रिडक्शन इन रेड ब्लड सेल काउंट और हेमोग्लोबिन लेवल्स leading to a decreased oxygen carrying capacity of the blood question number 18 what is the main function of monocytes in the immune system your options are phagocytosis of pathogens antibody production allergic response or blood clotting the correct answer is a that is phagocytosis of pathogens monocytes are large white blood cells that play a key role in phagocytosis engulfing and digesting pathogens question number 19 which parameter provides information about the average size of red blood cells your options are hemoglobin concentration hematocrit mean corpuscular volume msv or red cell distribution width rdw the correct answer is c that is main corpuscular volume mcw mcv measures the average volume of red blood cells providing information about their size question number 20 what does a high neutrophil count in a cbc indicate the options are viral infection bacterial infection allergic reaction or parasitic infection the correct answer is b that is bacterial infection an elevated neutrophil count is often associated with bacterial infections as neutrophils are the first responders to bacterial invaders question number 21 which term refers to the process of red blood cell formation your options are erythropoiesis hemostasis leukopoiesis or thrombopoiesis the correct answer is a that is erythropoiesis question number 22 what is the primary function of lymphocytes in the immune system your options are phagocytosis antibody production release of histamine or blood clotting the correct answer is b that is antibody production lymphocytes are key players in adaptive immunity producing antibodies that target specific pathogens question number 23 which term refers to the total volume of blood circulating through the body your options are hemoglobin concentration hematocrit mean corpuscular volume mcv or total blood volume the correct answer is d that is total blood volume total blood volume is the overall volume of blood circulating in the body question number 24 what is the normal range for eosinophil count in adults your options are 0 to 1% 40 to 60% 4000 to 11000 or 150000 to 450000 the correct answer is a that is 0 to 1% the normal range of for eosinophil count in adults is typically 0 to 1% of the total white blood cell count question number 25 which condition is characterized by an excess of red blood cell leading to increased blood viscosity the options are anemia leukemia polycythemia or thrombocytosis the correct answer is c that is polycythemia polycythemia is a condition marked by an excess of red blood cells which can result in increased blood viscosity and potential circulation problems so friends it is a time to comment your score out of 25 questions and friends thanks for joining us on this exciting journey if you enjoyed the quiz and learned something new then give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell 
so you never miss out on our upcoming exploration of fascinating topics in the medical field. Until the next time, stay curious, stay healthy. See you. Take care.